Welcome to Hidden Spotlight Treasures. We're going to be doing something a little different today. Normally we bring you the collection, but today I'm going to be cleaning an old couch. We have a sectional and it has not been cleaned in over 20 years. We're going to show you how to do it and see how it turns out. Let me follow me over here. You see this section here? This is where the people who own the couch, they, obviously they sat here for 20 years and it had not been cleaned. So we've, we've, we heard that this cleaner was a very powerful cleaner, even for the size, it's kind of small. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can't get this stain out. And um, like I said, normally we deal with the art collection, but occasionally we're going to bring you interesting how to do and other tricks like this. Thank you. All right, so before I start cleaning it, I wanted to make sure you saw what the sectional looked like before I cleaned it. This is the most dirtiest, dirtiest section right here. So I definitely have to get a before and after picture close up. So this is a close up of what the sectional looked like before I cleaned it. The left side, as you can see, is not too bad. It really is a nice couch and nice sectional, so I think it's worth cleaning and saving this couch. Very well made. So, okay, so here's the before, and then later on I'll show you the after. This being the most dirtiest part right here. Most of it comes from the oil on your skin. The oil when you sit on a couch uh, with no shirt on. So I hear this little machine is pretty powerful. We're going to give it a shot. As you can see it's pretty dirty over there. And the first thing you do is you take this section out. Right here we fill it up with water and we're going to give this cleaner a shot. Carpet Miracle cleaner. It only needs two ounces. So this is about two ounces. All we do is pour it in the top. The reason why you want to put the water in first so it doesn't get any suds. You put the water in first. If you put the soap in first and then you put the water in after there would be lots, lots of foam and suds and it just wouldn't be good. So you add, put the water in first, then the soap, then all you do is turn that on there and then we're going to put this inside of here. All we do is uh, see if I can do it with the camera. All you do is push it in there. So this is the clean soapy water. I'm going to go through the, uh, all the steps with you. And first you spray the soapy water in there. We rub it in. And then we turn the suction button on. That's on the other side. And then the dirty water comes over here and I'll show you how to empty it. It's pretty simple. Why don't we get started? So let's get started. The first thing we do is we push the red button and then I'll show you the angle that we have to clean it. put a new clean soapy water in. We've already went through the first one of these. You can see how dirty it is. That's to be expected. All you do is fill it back up, put your two ounces of cleaning fluid in there, 
and we'll do it again. We are using the Bissell Sport Clean Pro or Spot Clean Pro. Yeah, we're using the Bissell Bissell Spot Clean Pro. So far, I think it's doing a pretty good job. So we we did the first round here. Show you first round, and let me fix the uh, couch. Okay, real quick. there we go. I went ahead and straightened the sectional up a little bit. As you can see to the right there, that was where the most dirtiest spot was. To the left was relatively clean. I believe it might need one more go, but this is just the first round, and I believe that turned out very well. I'm very impressed with this little machine. It's called the um, Spot, let me take a look here, Spot Clean Bissell Spot Clean Pro. I'm very impressed with this little machine for a couple reasons. It's so easy to use. I mean, in the old days, 10, 15 years ago, these things were harder to use. I mean, it's just very, very simple. Fill it up, push the button. As you can see on the handle there, there's a little button you push and the water comes out. Vacuum. What's really impressive about this machine is how good it vacuums. The water is coming out very good, but you need a, a very powerful vacuum to get the water out of the fabric. And trust me, I'm very happy with this job. As you can see, um, I'm going to give this machine an A+. I'm probably going to have to go over the dirty spot twice, but you got to understand it has not been cleaned in 20 years. You can, uh, the thing about these old couches, they were made better 20 years ago. So the idea was to keep the older couch because it's made a lot better, custom made, sectional. This stuff coming from China today is just, just crap. Won't even last, you know, it just falls apart in a couple years. Here you're looking at a sectional over 20 years old and still in structurally very, very good condition. It's strong and uh, it probably should have been cleaned every two years and you wouldn't have had that stain on the right. But anyhow, I don't want to ramble on too long. Here you go, the final picture after the first cleaning.